The good news is that California's credit rating has been increased by a, a notch. Moody's Investor Service, one of the nation's two big bond rating houses, says that California's credit rating has been raised to the highest level it's been in 13 years. And that's good news all the way around. It means California will be paying less interest on the bonds it issues. And it reflects the fact that California's finances have improved. The state budget's been balanced after years of deficits. And Moody's believes that our financial outlook is stable. But there's a bad news piece of that as well. California's credit rating, even though it's higher than it was, is still among the lowest in the country. In fact, it's tied with two other states for 48th lowest in the country. And that's not good news at all, and it means that California still has a long way to go to improve its standing. It needs to do something not only to balance the current budgets, to make sure that the long-term finances of the state are in balance, and there's still some doubt about that, as Moody's and others have, have mentioned. The state has undertaken a lot of new uh, spending, what they call investments, in the current budget, and it's questionable whether those investments or spending is more likely should be called, will be sustain, sustained in the long run if the state gets into another recession or when those temporary taxes that the voters approved in 2012 expire. So it's good news, but there's always a dark side to good news.